What's popping, y'all? Welcome on back to the channel. You are here for episode four of our Afro Samurai. What do we call this? A watch party? It's given a watch party. Now, in episode three, I like to call it TI versus TIP. It was Afro Samurai versus was it robo afro is that his official name they were going head to head back and forth it was really looking shaky for the original afro samurai but he prevailed <laughs> of course he prevailed because we have two more episodes left so i'm excited to see how this fourth episode goes because there was something with the bear the bear remember the bear he popped up and we don't really know too much about that backstory so hopefully we'll get into it on this episode but with that being said y'all first things first make sure you subscribe to this channel right here make sure you hit the like button leave a comment down below if you want to see any of this episode's reactions full edited form make sure you check out the patreon channel consider becoming a tier member over there and with that being said y'all let's dive into episode four here we go <laughs> and one more body to the body that's right and he damn near took out the brotherhood that's right thank goodness because they were in the way the bear mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. do y'all know each other from the orphanage i don't think a teddy bear is supposed to be walking around the damn corner. not and not supposed to be he might look cute and all but i got a suspicion this one's a pro mm -hmm. real. but you headed straight to a dirt nap not a dirt nap damn <laughs> Okay, I love how he always tries to talk him off the ledge, but at the end of the day, he Afro Samurai gonna do what he won't. Damn you one stubborn samurai. Right. Oh, I don't know why you think today is going to be any different. You have come to defeat the number one, haven't you? Oh, is he the number one? <sighs> how did that happen? Bands, then you must fight. <sighs> Not the single tier. <sighs> Look at y'all are getting crazy air. How is that possible? Damn, you're gonna stomp him out. That's crazy. Damn, they in there getting active. But you just look like an afro headed coward. I don't like the way he said that, y'all. I can't even take a warrior with such stupid hair seriously. Wow. Yeah, and that's what I thought. That's what I thought you meant from it. I didn't want to assume, but okay, yeah, we're here. Why is Afro so... I don't know. He doesn't really seem bothered. Why? Open that eye. Mm-hmm. Nothing remains. Everything ends. Damn. He ain't have to... He ain't have to get kind of air. Killing with strength or speed only. Kill the enemy with one calm, powerful stroke. Listen, the point of dueling is to kill. See, your there's the bear right there. Act as the sea when the enemy is like the mountain. Act as the mountain when the enemy is like the sea. Mm. Damn, he look like an old teenager. He got a. Offensive. He got a naturally old face. That's wild. Why do you use two swords instead of one? It's really Damn. the ultimate fighting style. Sorry. Yes, I got a little carried away. <laughs> a little? You're really serious about sword fighting, aren't you? <laughs> He's very serious. This is not a game. I'm gonna have to be strong enough to look after this place. Damn, I wonder if he's the bear. Wanna know where I can find the number two? Don't know nothing about it. Yeah, y'all know a little something. <laughs> I said, let me sit up in my seat. Let me get serious. Gino. What have you gotten yourself into? Okay, you and I are gonna talk about this later. But first, I gotta save your dumb ass. Oh, I, th I think he's probably the bear. I just, I have that feeling, y'all. Ooh, all up in the eye. Ooh. Afro! Ooh. Oh, y'all got him at the same time. That's nuts. Tell me what you know. Where's the number two? That's sick. Number two. How are you still talking? It's quite near. <laughs> How are you still speaking? You just can't get enough lemonade, can you? He does love his lemonade. Forget avenging your father. Live your own life. Mm. Otsudu cares about you. I care about you. We're your family. Mm. Afro said, nah, I think I'm going to avenge my father. 
You reckon I could be as strong as Master? With your skill, Sasuke, I'd say it'll take at least 50 years. Ain't nobody got that kind of time. Man, I could be dead in 50 years. I mean... Why do you always have to be so dang morbid? Right, he didn't have to say it. You always have to live and fight like it's your last day. That's positive. Like it's your last meal. I mean, that's real positive of you. I like it. I want my last meal to be absolutely smothered in chili peppers. Okay, oh, spicy. Man. I could go for a chicken cutlet. Oh. <sighs> what about you? What do you want? He just wanted to avenge his daddy's death. I thought he was clear. <laughs> God dang. Transition? Where's his lace? Split him in half. Say, that sword master of yours, is he all right? There are some odd talks around the town. That some sword dojo master is the owner of the number two headband. Oh. And they say that his students have been brainwashed to be watchdogs. Not brainwashed. What? Our sword master wouldn't? I mean, there are plenty of other sword masters everywhere. So it must be some other man. Must be. Gino, did I wake you? I smell blood. <gasps> I was attacked, but that fool lost his life instead. Oh. He said, call the ambulance, but, but not, not for, for me. me. Okay. Excuse me. Now remind me, y'all, this is the same girl from the episodes in uh episode one and two, right? If I remember correctly. Gino. Afro. Mm. You are now great warriors. Use wisely the sword skills you have acquired. Master, there is something I would like to know. Afro, are you really number two? After the midnight, before the Bodhi tree, I will be waiting. Choose Afro Samurai. Forget revenge. Or fight me to the death for the number two headband. I mean, I can tell you what he's gonna do. <laughs> but no y'all want him to forget about his daddy so bad. You will know no friend, oh. no joy, no love. Truly, can you handle that burden? I think he can. <laughs> I think he's been waiting for the burden. Damn, maybe y'all shouldn't watch this. Master? Yeah, y'all should just go back to bed. There he is. Quit wasting your time with that channel. Y'all gonna do this right now? Damn, Gino. you can't fight everybody. Take everyone and run. Now you will see what it means to wear the number two headband. Come on, run and live. I would be tired of wearing the headband, y'all. I can't fight every damn day, every damn hour. Like, this is a burden. Stay out of this. <laughs> oh, he getting tore up. Well, I thought Afro was going to be the one to do it. Stay away from me. Lord, the kid's going to die. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Nice little slides you got there. Just cut your whole back. Mm, mm, mm. Damn, the squad is dropping like flies. Oh, so it's not the same girl. God dang. Okay, I guess he's not the bear. <laughs> I guess he's not. Damn, you still standing? Damn, he needs that headband up off you, player. You have chosen your path. Afro! No! Don't! Yikes. Yikes. God. Damn, just one clean one clean little swipe. Why did you kill our master? Gino, you still alive? How are you standing? You chose revenge. Why? For my true father. Ooh. He said you're not my dad. I Ugh. treated you as my brother. You still holding on? I will. This is drawn out. Gino! 
So he is the bear. Because I feel like he survived this and now he's getting revenge as, as the bear. Right? I'm glad you've lasted this long. Nice backstory. To die slowly, suffer as I have. Sam. Kuma, why are you taking so long? I take orders from Kuma Bear. That makes sense. Mm. Care about the useless headband? I want him hurt. It's deeper than that. He'll bleed for all the pain he's caused. It's deeper than that. This goes back to the backstory, right? You don't know how long I've waited. Damn, how did he make it out of that river, though? Loved and trusted you. <laughs> Let's see the face. My tears have never stopped. Jesus so Christ! What happened to you? Do you know this noggin you have? <laughs> <laughs> Why would you end the episode like that? That's a nasty cliffhanger. What? Damn, there's only one more. And then they just wrap the series on up. That's crazy. I already felt that Gino was uh, Kuma. I like, you know, for all of these episodes, though, I do appreciate that they do go into the backstory. It doesn't just, like, plop us into um, the present day. And it's like, okay, we'll figure it out. He's fighting. He wants to avenge his daddy's death. Figure it out. I do like the backstories. I do like the context of it. I just don't know how uh, he got up out of that river. Because it looked like he was sliced and diced up pretty well. So I don't know how you survived to tell the tale. But maybe that's what chapter, I'm sorry, maybe that's what episode five will explain for us. Before we wrap up this whole series, what the heck and this flew by if you made it to the end of the episode hey hello how are you thank you so much for watching as always tell me all of your thoughts about episode four don't give me any spoilers please and on that note i will see y'all for episode five right back here on the youtube page or i'll see you for some gameplay or something else going on on the twitch channel y'all be easy in these streets thank you so much for watching bye y'all